Okay, in this video, we want to get R and R Studio installed. So let's go to the R project. And we'll download R. Let's pick a location near us. I want to pick Case Western Reserve. Download R for Windows. We want the base. And let's let it download. After it's downloaded, we can go ahead and install it. And finish. And it looks like it installed. So let's remember R is an interpreted language. So it needs an interpreter to run and interpret uh, the, the scripts that you write, the code that you write. So if we look, we should see R now as one of our options. I'm going to load the 64-bit, and it looks like this. If we want to know what version we're on, just do version. And we can see that we're on the major version 4, and that's what you need to be. And we'll take any minor version. So anything greater than 4.0. Now you can work with it from here. You could do uh, var1 and give that the number 3. And then if you ask for var1 back, you get the number 3. Okay, So it's an interpreted language. It's taking these commands that I'm giving it, and it's utilizing those. Right, but it's not a it's not a compiled language where we build it and then run an executable. So if I can do these things, I know that R is working on my computer. Now this could be useful if you have a problem. Uh, if you get R Studio loaded and you're having a problem, you're trying to decide is it R or is it R Studio. You can come into the GUI here for R, do some simple things, and see if uh, R is working correctly. If it's not working in here. That means the interpreter isn't working correctly, and you need to work on getting this fixed. If it works fine here, but it doesn't work in our studio, then that would lead to an R Studio or point to an R Studio problem. So let's uh, go ahead and quit, and let's get R Studio installed. And our studio is going to be the IDE that we use. And using this instead of the other R console, so using this IDE, we'll get syntax highlighting. We'll be able to save our files, load up and execute files, um, and just, just all the general goodness that you get from an IDE. Uh, we want the desktop version. Uh, we want this open source edition because it is free. And we're going to download it for Windows. And after it gets downloaded, we're ready to install it. After it installs, we should be able to open it up. And this is what it looks like. So from here, we can enter our commands over here in the console. Right, we got terminal. this to access the internet uh, and jobs but we want console and again we can create a variable let's call var1 no, we're going to assign to that the number three and if we var1 we get the number three back so the IDE is accurately talking to the uh, interpreter which is R that's underneath there so everything is working like it should and we're ready to start assignments